A very good morning to all of you, my dear kids. I hope you all are doing well at home. In our last class, we are done with the chapter numbers up to fifty, we did up to activity five, uh, activity four. Today we will move to the activity five. Okay. Circle the smallest number. The first main thing has been given. Circle the smallest number. So we have to. Look at these numbers, and we have to circle the smallest number. Here, the bigger numbers are forty-three, thirty, twenty-three, and thirty-three. So here, what we will do? We will look at for the smallest number, which is the smallest digit among these numbers, that is thirteen. So we have to circle the thirteen. Next, seventeen, twenty-eight, eleven, thirty. Which is the smallest among these numbers? That is. Eleven. Eleven is the smallest number among the given numbers. Next one. Okay. Now, in the second main, circle the largest number. We have to find out the largest digit in this number, and we have to circle it. Which is the largest number in this given number? Nineteen, thirteen, twelve, twenty. Which one is the bigger number here? That is twenty. So we have to circle that twenty. Next, ninety, seventy, twenty-one, fifty. Which number is bigger here? That is twenty-one. So we circle the largest number among these numbers. While circling the numbers, what we have to do? We have to check out the tens place. First one is the two digit number is always greater. And uh, if the both the numbers are two digit, what we have to do? We have to look at the digit at the tens place. If the digit at the tens place is greater, then that number is greater. Okay, children. Okay, next we will move to the next one. Now, we now main three write the numbers in ascending. Order in our last class we have learned how to arrange the numbers in ascending order. What is ascending order? Arranging the numbers from smaller to bigger. Suddenly during the third day, fourth day, how many came? Fourth day, we know ascending order. What is health? Is it? We have given the class. We have given some numbers. We have to arrange these numbers in ascending order. So let us see. Look at the numbers. Seventy. Twenty-three, forty-seven, nine, and eleven are there. So, which is the smallest sum of these numbers? That is nine. So, it is single digit also. The single digit number between a double digit number is always smaller. Nine after nine, eleven. Okay, after eleven, seventeen. Next, twenty-three. Next, forty. Seven. Okay. While arranging the numbers in order, what we have to do? We have to look at the number in the tens place. If single digit means the greater number is uh, nine. If the two digit numbers, we have to compare between two digit number. What we have to do? We have to look at the digit at the tens place. Here it is one, one, two, four. So forty seven is the greater one. Twenty-three is less than forty-seven. Seventeen is less than twenty-three. Eleven is less than seventeen. Nine is less than eleven. We have arranged these numbers in ascending order. Next one. Here the given numbers are thirty-nine, forty-one, forty-eight, thirty-three, thirty-seven. So which one is smaller here? Thirty-three. After thirty-three, thirty-seven. After thirty-seven, thirty-eight. After thirty-eight, forty-one will come. Then forty-eight. This is how we arrange the numbers in the ascending order: smallest to biggest. Sign it in the third digit. Understood? Next, we will move to the descending order now. Now we will write the numbers in descending order. Here we have given some numbers in box. And we will arrange these numbers in descending order. What is descending order? Arranging the numbers from bigger to smaller. That is in the standard mark. Ta, hoga jana descending order ta. Eighty. Now here we will see the numbers: twenty, fifty, thirty, forty, and ten. We will arrange the number in descending order. First, let us write the greater number, that is forty. After 
after 40 30 after 30 that is sorry 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 okay sorry now we will arrange let us see 50 then 40 then 30 20 and 10 okay from bigger to smaller next in this box the greater number is 45 after 45 26 next 27 next 18 and 7 this side means bigger to smaller bigger to smaller arranging numbers from bigger to smaller this is called descending order next we will go to the next activity Next we will move on to the activity 6 before, between and after. You all know what comes before, what comes after and what comes between. Let us see first before number. What comes just before? Okay. What comes just before 19? Count backward. Before 9. Count backward. That is 9. 8. 8 comes before 9. We count 9 after 8. 8 comes just before 9. Okay, next one is 11. What comes before 11? That is 10. 32. What comes just before 32? That is 31. 21. What comes before just 21? That is 20. This is how we write the before numbers. Next. Okay. Second one. What comes just after okay after numbers what comes just after 40 that is 15 what comes just after 27 that is 28 what comes just after 33 34 what comes just after 43 that is 44 like this we will write the after numbers next one is between numbers Okay, next one is what comes in between. We learn before, after, now we will learn the between numbers. Okay, here the given numbers are 19 and 21. Between 19 and 21, which number will come? That is 20. 40 and 42, after 40, which number will come? 41. After 41, 42 is there. So, 41 come in between 40 and 42. Next one, 24 and 26. What comes after 24? That is 23. So, 23 is the number comes between 24 and 26. Now, a given number is 13 and 15. What comes after 30? That is 14. 14 comes in between 13 and 15. Like this, we will we have to write before, after and between numbers. Still, the hope you have understood today's chapter. If you have any doubt, you can ask me. I will send you the SLA of these books, this chapter. Okay, you write it neatly in the SLA. Don't go outside to play. Stay home, stay safe. Thank you.